<clears throat> I'm watching Fuzda right now, so there's going to be some background audio, but he can deal with that. So I have this little remote here, and if I press OK on it, it brings up a menu, right? There's, I want to start from below first, because the more important options are down below. So you have exit, obviously. You have in and output. Input is what the game is actually, like, what the resolution is. And the output is the full sampled image. So most images will output at 720 by 480 because that's the NTSC uh, video mode. And, you know, usually it's like 640 by 480, 660 by 448, 640 by 448, and you crop to that from 720 by 480. Like right now, it's cropped. But if you go to About, you can update the firmware with um, the .doll file. So it's something you can run from Action Replay or Swiss or whatever you want. Store Settings saves all the settings that you've changed from whatever your new default is. Advanced Settings. So the Chroma Interpolation, previously it was forced that 4x2x2 four by two by two image, so, you know, four, um, four bits for the brightness. Sorry. <clears throat> you know, you have, full, you have full brightness information, and then you have half the information for chroma, you know, red and blue. What the interpolation used to do, or does, is it just uh, makes it 4x4x4 four by, four by, four by interpolating the color between those pairs of pixels with information. So it, it basically gives you average pixels to fill the um, fill the screen with color information. So it's not really accurate. It's nice, but it's not accurate. And almost every capture card downsamples to 4x2x2 anyway. So it's usually completely pointless. I turned it off. Uh, fixed resolution basically just gives you vertical, uh, gives you blanking information and sync information. Sync timing, same thing. You can just leave these as all on. Doesn't really matter. Usually. C-sync is for analog. I'm not using that. So it'll look weird, a little weird, but this, this is the color format you can choose. You can choose RGB and then YCVCR, which is YPBPR or component, but it's just the digital version of it. So there's RGBF, full range color. This GameCube's not full range, so it'll look weird. There's limited range color, which is, it looks fine. There's 4x4x4 YCBCR, which I don't want to use because I'm not chroma interpolating. And there's 4x2x2, which I do want to use because I want to capture as close to the original as possible. Furthermore, uh, if you choose 4x2x2, your menu will... You can't change the color of your menu. Maybe you won't like that. Uh, these are kind of pointless. It's more... This is for... Um, compatibility. Sometimes people have had an issue. And this changes the audio frequency from 48,012 kilohertz. Just to 48,000. It might introduce artifacts. Usually it doesn't matter. These mode selections are for line doubling. Like, you could turn it off for 240p, and it would output 240p. Or you could turn it on, and it boosts it up to 480p. Same thing for interlaced and all that. I usually just leave these on default. Output settings. There's 480p mode, which is 480p. Duh. Enhanced DVI allows you to send audio over the DVI. Um, basically... Most things that you're going to plug this into are DVI port or an HDMI port. If it's a DVI port, you'll want to make sure you have audio with your HDMI input. So I have my HDMI cable going out of my GameCube adapter into my capture card with a, an HDMI to DVI adapter. And this is how I get audio with it. So I don't have to plug in an analog cable for audio. And if you have the advanced mode selected, you can display it at 16 by 9 but I don't do that. The volume here is default, 
anything lower than 255, you're actually lowering the volume of the console itself. Mute is obvious. On screen display, the mode pop up is what the resolution is. So let's, uh, let's reset here. That in the top right corner is the, the on screen display. And you can change the color of it if you're not on YCBCR 4x2x2. By two by two. This is just a bunch of, um, you know, picture modifying settings. Doesn't, you know, it's pretty obvious. These are scanline profiles you can apply. And you can have it set for 480p. And you can have the presets for them in, uh, whatever, all modes. You can set which profile you want. But yeah, that's pretty much the quick rundown on it. Let me uh, let me boot up a file and show you that on-screen display works as in, as I say. So prime constructed screen 640, which is what it's supposed to be, to 680. Default is 660 right here. But you see, uh, with with YCBR 422, it's doing this weird like slightly dark thing when I change it. So let's put it as RGB. This is how it normally looks if you're not on YCBCR native, essentially. It's pretty good. Pretty damn good. So, hope that's been helpful, man. It's pretty awesome. It is a great piece of hardware.